If you need to create lots of characters, you probably need iteration. Or if you need to show different options to clients, starting from scratch every time is a nightmare. But today, I brought you a bunch of add-ons and asset collections that can help you hit the ground running with base meshes for all types of characters, animals, you name it. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Let's start with Adjustable Mannequin, which gives you a fully rigged mannequin whose body proportions can be tweaked on the fly with simple sliders. Well, it makes creating a full character base super easy. You just drag sliders to change the figure shape and pose it, or even manually adjust the rig or mesh if you need more control. The latest version added some fun extras, like adjustable fantasy body parts, things like wings, horns, ears, and tails, and even an optional anime style hat, which really expand the kinds of characters that you can make with this tool. The rig itself got improvements too, including a Rigify compatible version for advanced users and tweaks like elbow and knee pull targets for easier posing. On top of that, the add-on comes with 60 plus preset body shapes that you can apply right away. And it is set up as a blender asset, so you can drag and drop the mannequin into your scene for a quick start. And I would say it is generally a huge time saver for character artists especially. Also, I want to mention Figaro, which is a new blender add-on that was released a couple of months ago. And its goal is rapidly creating base meshes for characters and creatures in a very interesting stick figure way. Kind of like what you can do in ZBrush. You essentially draw a skeleton out of points and edges. Each point has a radius, or let's say thickness, in addition to edges that interpolate between those radii to form the volume. Much like ZBrush's C-Spheres or Blender Skin Modifier to flesh out a shape. You can even add planar faces, I mean to your stick figure, for more complex form. So you are not limited to just tubes and limbs. On the fly, the animal will convert your sketch rig into a solid vertex mesh ready for sculpting. And you have options to control the voxel resolution, adaptivity, smoothing, etc. And you can do that right from the side panel. And to save more time, or you can save for convenience, the add-on also includes a template manager for saving or reusing custom base meshes, and a nifty split and pull feature that lets you branch off new lamps or protrusions from the endpoint by splitting a vertex, which is useful for quickly adding things like arms, horns, or tails. And by the way, all of this integrates seamlessly with Blender's modifier stack, so you can mirror, subdivide, and refine your Figaro creations non-destructively. Even though the next add-on is not going to function as a base mesh, Human Generator Ultimate is a really useful character creator add-on that allows you to generate realistic human models directly inside Blender. So how is that even possible? Well, it provides a character creation experience similar to a video game avatar editor. So you get a ton of more sliders and presets for body and face, making it easy to dial in features to your liking. The interface is simple. It lets you mix and match a variety of options, like different body types, facial shapes, ethnicities, and so on. And the add-on comes back with high-quality assets, such as hair, clothes, and skin materials, so you can outfit your character right away. And the good things, models created with Human Generator are fully rigged and ready for animation. It even uses a regify based rig, which makes posting and animating much easier, especially if you are a Blender user familiar with the system. I also appreciate the extra tools it includes for game developers. You can automatically generate level of detail versions of your characters, bake textures for optimization, and use a batch export for game engines, which is really useful if you want to bring your characters to Unreal or Unity. Another interesting tool for ready base meshes is called Base Meshes Character Starter Kit, which is essentially a collection of ready-made base meshes that come pre-rigged, giving you a head start in modeling when it comes to characters like the other ones before it. But the difference is, this one includes 8 base meshes in total, specifically 3 male figures, including a regular male, a muscular superhero type, and an anime style male, in addition to 3 females, including regular, female superhero, and animated style female, plus 2 chibi style characters for a cute stylized option. You also get a variety of interchangeable body parts, about 15 pieces in total such as different hands and feet, and even a separate non-droid hat. You can even mix and match parts if needed. And all those models in this kit have been made with clean, 
animation-friendly topology. We're talking about 100% quads and subdivision by the geometry. They are perfectly symmetrical with the origin centered, which is great for mirror modeling or sculpting. They also kept the polygon count really low, I mean relatively low, making these base meshes suitable for game assets or as a starting point for sculpting. In a similar vein, as the name suggests, Ultimate Base Mesh Collection is a big library of base models. It packs 82 different base meshes covering humans, animals, and even mythical creatures. This collection gives you pretty much a good starting point for almost any organic model that you might need. And as you can see, it is really rich. For example, it includes realistic human bases, including male and female, from babies to old age, and even variations of different races. In addition to a whole bunch of models, I mean animal models, including wild and domestic, like lions, elephants, giraffes, dogs, cats, and so on. This, in addition to fantasy creatures like werewolf, mermaids, vampires, etc. And each model comes with optimized topology, in addition to being UV mapped. And they also come with multiple formats, including Blend, FBX, OBJ, and so on. Even Maya files, by the way. And there you have it, guys. If you like these add ons and these asset collections, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.